We're doing it guys, 120 watts going into this King's 24 amp hour power pack. So this is double the charging speed as what you normally get out of these King's packs. Beautiful. So today we're going to attempt to fast charge this King's 24 hour power pack. Anyone that does own this uh, particular 24 amp hour or the 12 amp hour King's power packs know that this one of the biggest downsides to these units is the slow charging through USB-C or this um, 12 volt port here uh, maximum charge input is only 60 watts so not really ideal so today I'm going to put this King's power pack at risk for, for you guys and I'm gonna see if we can't get a quick charge into this power pack um, yeah so I'm gonna be putting this power pack to the uh, at risk for you guys for this test we're gonna need a cigarette lighter plug cigarette port plug with an XT60 connection I'm gonna use this Victron smart controller, 75, 15 amp hour smart controller. Put that up there. And just my little watt meter. I just want to see just what's going on on the input side of this. And we'll get the app up and we'll see what's happening and what's putting into this power pack. Okay guys, this is a viewer suggested video. I've um, got a couple comments on a previous video so asking whether I can charge this unit through the cigarette lighter port. That's exactly what we'll be doing today. This uh, power pack here, the cigarette light port isn't regulated, so it's not regulated. It's basically connected straight to the battery via a BMS. So, Technically, we should be able to put a charge into this cigarette lighter port. So that's what we'll be doing today. All right, first step is to plug the cigarette port in, get the battery side on this, connect this up. This will be our first step, just to see if the smart charger recognizes this battery. Looks like it has, blue lights on. As you can see there, flashing away, very good. Open up this Smart Solar app. Beautiful, no problems there. Battery voltage is 13.12 volts from this power pack here. So our next step is to connect my solar to this unit here. Okay, this is the moment of truth, guys. Got this plugged into my solar. As you can see, almost 33 volts now. It's still early in the morning. So we're going to plug this in and hope for the best. Let's see if this is going to work. Oop. Straight away, we've got something here, 150 watts. It's just cut out then. I think we might have gone oh, up. No. Here we go again. Here we go. We're away. We're away, guys. So far, we're looking 131 watts on the, this um, amp meter. As you can see there, pretty close with the app here. And we are charging. 121 watts into this power pack so we're getting double we're getting double our charge rate into this power pack here now guys i no, this is not recommended um so anyone that does try to charge this through the cigarette lighter port at your own risk just like i'm doing today this is at my own risk um but it does work guys I'm gonna 
keep this going until it's fully charged. I want to see if the lights obviously show up too as um, full bars once it's charged as well. I want to make sure that all works. And yeah, we'll be able to monitor how much energy we got into this as well through the Victron app. I'm excited about this. This is a game changer. Where, um, the guys that suggested this video uh, is awesome. Hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully this keeps going like it is and we can fully charge this unit. I'd like to take the time to thank all the new subscribers to this channel. Welcome to the channel and also the older subscribers. Thank you for anyone that's commented and liked my videos in the past. Um, thanks guys, I appreciate it lots and um, I never would have thought I've got this far um, without you guys, so I appreciate it. Thanks guys. Oh guys, we're gonna let this charge, we'll see what happens. Everything, oh, sorry, everything seems good. No hot spots. Beautiful. All right guys, we'll see you back in, in a few hours. It's been a little over two hours later. Just a quick update guys. Um, still putting in 118 watts. The voltage from the panels 29.4. Current of four amps. The battery voltage is 14.2 volts. And eight amps going into the pack here. And we're on a state absorption mode. So go to the history history we've put in 140 watt hours at the moment so yeah very cool all right guys been probably two and a half hours or so later um, this is now saying one watt going in 31 volts 13.6 volts on the battery and it's in float mode so as you can see float mode on the charge controller as well and we've got the four LED lights shining on this King's power pack so yeah there you have it guys this is successful um, yeah this will save lots of time for me charging this I'll probably continue charging it like this from now on um, and I'll let you guys know if I have any problems in the future with this so um, Yes, yeah, so potentially saving um, From the old way of charging through the USB-C using a 30 watt uh, USB-C charger it takes about 10 to 11 hours to charge this thing so I can now using this setup. I can charge this in about three hours. I'd say so big, big, big difference. Um, yeah, this is awesome. This is really awesome, guys. Hope you found this interesting. Hope it's helped someone out with um, problems with slow charging this. Like I said, um, if you do decide to charge it this way, then it's at your own risk. I highly recommend charging it with a, a MPP charge controller. Um, and possibly a smaller charge controller so you're not putting too much watts into this but it works guys awesome i'll see you on the next one